Hello everyone. I am adjusting my camera here. I'm really excited for to share with you guys this um, unboxing video. I uh, received my Witchels and Rituals box from Fade Weaver Circle and I um, wanted to share with you guys because I'm really excited. Um, Fade Weaver Circle is available online on Instagram. Um, I'll put their Instagram handle in the description box so you guys can see or follow her. I have followed Kia for many, many years and I have purchased quite a few, maybe like three or four of her Witchels and Rituals um, kits. This is the first time that they come in a box. Um, in a box that has like um, her information. They always come in a box <laughs> because that's how she ships them. And I believe I did an unboxing. <coughs> Excuse me. I believe I did an unboxing of one of them, the practitioner kid on my Instagram page. So um, if you follow me on Instagram, you can check that out. So as I mentioned, she has a new box, which is really awesome. Um, here it says your witchy self and ritual care. Um, and then the same thing here. I'll just show you the box because I know she um, has this new box. So I want to have you guys get a good look. Um, so Kia has the Fate Weaver Circle, which is her online community available on Mighty Networks. And um, the first, one of the first ways that I started getting to know Kia was because I actually won a giveaway of her Moon Touched Magic Ogam Oracle deck. And then um, she started sharing the 13 Temples of Stone. And that was really I, I work with stones too, so that was really interesting to me. So I, I got a Temples of Stone reading from her where she, she, those are available on her Etsy store, where she selected, she told me the order of the, the temples so that I could go through them on my own. Then later on, I joined her community, the Fade Weaver Circle, and we were going through the temples on as a group. But she also has um, another system, I call them systems, um, of, of pathways that she shares about on Instagram. So whenever I, I would see her post, I was always really interested and curious about what she was doing. I loved how she was creating and sharing like her own knowledge um i'm knowledge that she has acquired through like reading and experience and taking classes but to me as an outsider it seemed that she was creating like her own path instead of um maybe following a path that someone else had laid out she might have been combining paths um in her own experience and through her own gnosis but that's how it looked to me, and I thought that was really awesome. So I was always curious and interested to learn more. Anyway, so that's a little bit of background on Kia. I highly recommend you follow her. Um, check out her Etsy shop. Check out her um, Witchels and Rituals kits. And let's see what we got on our box today. All right. So... Let's see if we are in the frame. The inside of the box says um, En Erobos Fos. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. In Darkness Light. And I love that it's purple. Um, there's a, a message for me that I probably won't open. But I always love the wax stamps. And here there should be a few cards with a message um, for me. Making sure that we're still in the frame. I really like um, the packaging and the presentation. I think I'll open this one first. Maybe I'll move the box out of the way here. 
also there's a note here that says we are all children of dust cosmic arcane stardust um, a guide masculine and elder in tone so this is a message for me from a guide and she sent a special a tea blend maybe with um, skull cap cedar lotus lavender rosebuds mulane um, she says this is a mixture that came through for you energies of blockage removal protection focus and oneness and courage and a lot of that already um, resonates with me especially the part about blockage and protection and focus and courage <laughs> um, i also really like this um sticky note that's like a window in a computer so that's a bigger blend and then she included some smaller um this is the ground mix so two mini jars of grounded blend one jar of dust includes salt and one small crystal jar and a key and i i i am collecting her keys so i have a few of them so let's see if you guys can see sorry um this is a small crystal jar which i love it was going to be part of my miniature crystal kit or collection um so this is i'm assuming this is maybe the same um but like the dust and a more grounded part i wonder if some of these i could use as incense also so Part of the idea or purpose behind these kits are that um, you will design a ritual for yourself with the different elements included. And I remember the first few times that I purchased the kit, um, since I was, I'm no to rituals, um, I asked Kia for a little more guidance and she mentioned how the intention is that we will all or each... Um, design our like listen to our own intuition and our own guidance and design a ritual that works for us so i think um that just reminds me of the reason why i feel um called to uh, work with kia and with her magical items because that idea of you um, designing your own path is really important to me also and it's how it's one of the reasons why i was interested in following uh, a spiritual path instead of a religious path so um this the second bag also comes with a key and um, it comes with a spirit cord which i love the yellow and purple um colors yellow for me is about self-confidence and willpower and purple is about intuition and then combining those um it's a very powerful message. So these are the pathway. This is a pathway oracle. So um, this is the pathways that I was mentioning at the beginning. There's um, the pathway of the spark, seeker, muse, the traveler, the guardian, the primordial, the maverick, sovereign, and the psychopomp. And each of the pathways has different planets that and asteroids that are aligned uh, with it. I don't remember all the asteroids, but each of these cards is to signify one of the pathways. And here you can see Kia's um, symbol, the Fate Weaver Circle, and the pathways we meet is what it says. And I know they're, these ones come in different colors, so I really love that mine are silver. So this is the Psychopomp, the Sovereign, the Maverick, the Primordial, the Guardian, the Traveler, the Muse, Hopefully you can see them. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll try to do them this way. The Seeker, the Spark, 
and um, the Weaver Star. And I believe that these sigils are sigils that she created herself um, for the different pathways. And hopefully you can still see them. They're really beautiful. And when I was going through the pathways with her and Fate Weaver Circle, I remember trying to draw some of the sigils. So I'm really glad to have her own, um, like a version of them that she drew herself. So that's that. Put these ones off to the side and then I'll put them away. And there's also um, these black tea light candles, which I love. Um, and there's another candle. Oh, and a really beautiful piece of what looks to me uh, to be rose quartz. Um, and also a small piece of black tourmaline. Oh, I really love this rose quartz it's very very um if it is rose quartz i'm gonna look through the note it's very clear and i think those are all the items that are included so um i do want to open up the message and show you the cards but maybe i won't read the whole message um just show you a few of the things I never want to, if I can, I want to <laughs> preserve the wax um, seal, but I might not be able to this time. Oh, it looks like I could have just propped it out. So she says, start here. Um, she wrote a thank you message. So um, the message is the call of the guardian. And I wonder if this is the guardian pyro effect. The guardian pathway and its associations are or have been making themselves known to you fire element jupiter placements melponine the number 11 and 29 i really i always like how kia uses the um, Yu-Gi-Oh cards for reading so I don't have any Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so that's really nice. And it looks like there's multiple cards here. So I would lay out, um, let me make sure I don't mess them up. I think what I will do is after I um, finish sharing, I will lay these out and read them um, for myself. I'm glad she included some information about the ritual since sometimes I need a little bit more guidance on that but um, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing I'm really looking forward to working with the um, pathways oracle and picking up where I left off um, in the group study um, also adding keys to my collection figuring out how to work with these different herbs some of them I'm familiar with um, like new new lane I don't know if that's how you pronounce it um, and some others are new, but I've seen them around. So I'm just interested to see what other messages they have for me. And um, thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing. I, um, I might share some of her other kits that I have purchased just so you can get an idea of um, the things that are included. There's, there's usually a card reading, a candle, a crystal, and then past ones she has included different oils as well i actually have a lot of her uh, ritualistic and magical items so maybe i'll do a, a fade weaver uh, review 
in the next few days. So thank you so much for tuning in and I hope that you have a wonderful day.